Hello! Welcome to my Lego Walmart haul 2024 clearance, we'll call it. So I have 12 Lego sets here, normally retailing at $608. If you bought every single one of these sets at full retail price, it would have ran you $608, which is absolutely insane. So if y'all are new here, you should definitely slap that subscribe button. I'm going to be reviewing and build, building and reviewing each one of these Lego sets on my page. So if you're interested in checking them out, you're going to want to stay tuned. I'm also on Instagram and TikTok, Facebook at Big Zach's House. I post a lot of short content on there as well, uh, especially Instagram. So if you're interested in following me there, check me out over there. I post a lot of short content, all the good deals, stuff like that. So let's go through the list here. I will start off with the one that I was the most excited about picking up. So this was two separate Walmart trips. On my second trip, I've been seeing a lot of people post about this one being 50% off. So this is the Avengers Quinjet number 76248. Typically this set is $100. I got it for 50 bucks. The box is a little damaged. Um, I examined it, made sure everything was in there, all the bags, all the figures. I think that was a steal for $50, the Avengers Quinjet. I'm really, really happy with this one. And this will probably be, Probably be built sooner rather than later, dropping Lego sets all over the place. I did get a couple duplicates, but I tried not to get too many duplicates. So here we have 60386, the recycling truck, Lego City. This was a really, really good deal. So for this one, I'll put my list here for the side. I paid $17 for this, which I think is a really good deal. I think $34 probably was a little overpriced. But I picked up two of them because you really just can't go wrong with having some really cool like trucks in your collection. And I just thought, why not grab two of those? $17 just made a lot of sense. Uh, here we have 60395, the combo race pack. I didn't expect to pick this one up, but it was $14. I mean, really, $14 is a steal. And I got a lot of Lego City, which is a, typically something I don't collect. Uh, so we, we grabbed that. Now let's move on here. The one Mario set I have here is a 71422, the picnic at Mario's house. This one I paid uh, $15 for, which I think $15 is... Okay, I guess. Uh, I don't really do a lot of the Mario stuff anymore, unless it's something that you can kind of display. And I think this is one where you could maybe just display like the hut of some sort. Um, so I grabbed that one, not a bad thing to have. Uh, Yoda's Starfighter, this is the only uh, Lego Star Wars set that I picked up here. And this one, uh, seven zero or 75360, this was $22, which I think is fair for this one. It's probably in the price range it should have been. Um, so, yeah, it says I paid $22. It doesn't sound right, though. I don't think this... Was this really a $44 set? I don't know. That's... I'm pretty sure that that's 50% off. Uh, it could be maybe wrong on that one. So, here we have the 60387, the 4x4 Off-Roader Adventures. Uh, so, this one here, 60387, I paid $14. Again, these LEGO City sets were just a deal. $14. Maybe I'll let my... Uh, let Zachary build this one. Um, I think that would be fun for him to do. Uh, and now this is the one that I was probably the second most excited about. I love the dinosaurs here. So I picked up the Brachiosaurus Discovery Set, 76960. I know what this one costs. This one cost me 40 bucks. The main $8 set, probably because of the dinosaur. Um, honestly, I bought it almost exclusively for the dinosaur. Uh, I've wanted it for a while since it's been released and I just couldn't justify it. I think that some of those Jurassic Park sets with the dinosaur are really overpriced. Um, now let's move on to the dream sets. So I picked up two of this dream set here. This is the uh, Mrs. Castillo's Turtle Van 71456. I grabbed two of these. They're $23 a piece. For a set that's got this many figures, uh, it has quite a few mini figures in here. I thought the piece count looked pretty cool. Um, I thought it was worth it, honestly. It looks like a really fun build. I can't wait to build one of these. These are my first dream sets here. Five minifigures in that set, 23 bucks, sounds like a really good deal. Now I got this other dream set here, uh, the Crocodile Car. I thought it was a little cool too, 494 pieces. Comes with five minifigures. For this one, I paid $30. Again, I thought that was really fair for $30. Now, this is the other one that I was really excited about. I've kind of gotten away from Harry, from Harry Potter sets here, but I thought this one looked really cool. I was actually kind of kicking myself for not buying two, because that way I could do like both models. So this is the Expecto Patronum set number 76414. This one I paid $39 for, normally like an $80 set or, you know, $79 or $78, whatever. Uh, great deal. Honestly, I think I did really well. So basically, I spent $304 total dollars for $608 worth of Lego sets, 12 sets, only one set that I bought here that I already had and only bought two duplicates, so maybe we use them for like a Christmas gift here or there or something along the lines of that. But overall, I think I did really well. So let me know what y'all think. 
Let me know in the comment section which one of these sets do you want me to build first and review on the page. Uh, I'm excited about it. I don't know which one I'm going to do yet. I was leaning towards like the Brachiosaurus Discovery or one of the Lego City sets, just kind of dive into a smaller set. So let me know what y'all think about my haul. Did you get anything at Walmart on clearance? Uh, this is the time of year where they do all their clearance sales for, for Lego sets, for toys. I also picked up some cool Transformers toys. So this is the time to do it. Save yourself some money. Maybe pick up some early Christmas gifts. So thank you all for watching. If you all new, you should definitely slap that subscribe button. I make a lot of these cool videos, uh, all these Lego views. And again, Hit me up on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. I do a lot of short form content, mostly Instagram for the most part. Um, I'm sure I'll be entertaining for you and uh, a lot of cool stuff there as well. So thank you all for watching. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.